The crowd, you also engaged the police earlier. What discussions yeah. did you hold with the police? Um, I, was, I was actually thanking them for, for their service as police people. Because, ask yourself, what is compelling them to stand over there the whole day? It is for security, for the security of the people and for the security of the nation. They are working under power. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you that a lot of them over there support what we do because they know that we're not doing this or the protest is not um, a, law, a, law, a lawless pro uh, protest. It is not illegal. It is within our constitutional rights to express our grievances. In fact, this is one of the ways government understands the language. You know, it is one of the legal ways that government will understand the plight and the plea of the, uh, of the people. So guess what? It's been going on for three days. The first day was unfortunate. A lot of people were arrested, and that was what blew the whole thing out of proportion and went into the news. When I came, I was actually admiring their works, and I was actually also telling my people that it is not a soft way to freedom. It is never an easy way to freedom. You know, to speak to power, you have to face it. And I think that is the downside of it. I don't want them to see that as me. I believe that that is a sacrifice that we all have to go through. Even if now the police raids on us and begins to lash out, of course, we're going to run for our lives, first and foremost. But that is a sacrifice that we have to know that nothing comes on a silver platter for you to actually speak out. The Kwame Nkrumah sacrifice for us. The Yasantua sacrifice for us. The, 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 the many, many general articles and the rest that we read about in our history books, the sacrifice for us. The least some of us can do is to continue to add our voices, our presence, our resources, if maybe to be able to add to the, to the voices that will scream aloud for the people in power to know that we deserve better things to be done for us. My first call is look at the healthcare situation. Look at the flood that is happening, the drainage systems. In as much as the populace has a role to play, the government has the power to force and instill the people, you know, to obey and align into some developmental plans, you know. So when I see people being evacuated, and compensated for roads to be built properly and for them to move out of waterways i support these things it's up to the citizens to also know that that is for the betterment that on the side the motorway with the toes that have been taken from years i lost my knee to the accident on a motorway yeah. and you listed out that one of the reasons why you decided to join this project. it's a major reason that i can never forget i work with a titanium knee replacement in my leg how can i ever forget that happened to me and even up to today people still die up of the motorway tires are blasting and all of that have we not raised enough revenue to be able to fix the motorway that Kwame Nkrumah built from yesteryears? And I'm not standing here in the name of MPP, NDC, or CPP, or KKP. I stand here in the name of Ghanaians as I am. That's my brother. I'm one of them. The president is a Ghanaian. The police force are Ghanaians. The military are Ghanaians. So guess what? It gives me a lot of joy. In the beginning, I was a little bit just skeptical, but I had to stand because I always do to make sure that I come in because I don't really care about whoever wants to politicize my indulgence because that is not the reason. And that's the fear for many of your colleagues. That's the fear of many of my colleagues to... out there because they might want to, but then it can be politicized easily and they're going to be targeted and a lot. But I'm happy that this is not a lawless or a chaos or a harmful um, um, protest and that so long as it is within our constitutional rights, why not? I am here. And I know this is going to go a long way to actually make some of my colleagues be very brave enough now to step in the front line. Okay. So but I just want to say big respect to the IGP himself. He's one of the persons I've really admired and I've seen as a father. In his tenure, he has done great things, I'm not going to lie. Especially if he has not done nothing at all. Look at how beautiful he has transformed the police headquarters. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So Ghana can only be better for all of us when we all get involved. Okay. Of course, yeah. listen, it's not all Ghanaians that can be here. Mm. But we that are here are representing on behalf of the rest of them. That's okay. all I have to say. F finally, finally, before you go, um, the people gathered here say they are protesting against mismanagement of the economy. Of they say unemployment, that's of forced course. a lot of young people to of flee course. this country and then corruption. Of I want to find out from you, are this uh, views you also share? Are these assertions you also share? In? Are these assertions you also share? Mm. Are these assertions you share? Well, I, I, I've had um, a lot of these questions deflected back to me, but I say, I want to people, are these answer me, suggestions answer me. that you also share? Yes, I do share. Okay. Level of unemployment is high. Mm. Healthcare situation, 
road infrastructure. We know now. Why are you running away? If we don't admit and we don't beg and do things like this, we're going to be in our homes and crying and crying and crying. I just want you, it's not a political situation. Okay. I know members in power who are also saying that, no, something should be done right. We see and we hear. We see and we hear, especially, I don't want to mention names, but we hear people in political power places who would actually criticize some of the decisions that government is making. Come on, man. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much. Great. But I would have been happy if you answered my, my, my question. I'll send it to your DMs. <laughs> So you just heard from uh, Aye, great. You just heard from uh, musician. Yes, and something? I beg. Okay. I beg one more. Mm. I do not wish anybody to edit and and quote and put my mouth where my mouth did not go. Mm. I'm here in the name of Ghana. Whether it is fix the country, fix the Jubilee House, or occupy the Julobi House, however, whatever hashtag you use. First and foremost, Ghana comes first. And I think that in any and every capacity, I have the rights to be here and add my voice as an astute musician who has sung all these things in my music from Rango to African System to Buffalo Soldier yes. to Greedy Men. Yes. And I've used my resources to actually elevate and support community by virtue of the Livingston Foundation. I have every single right to continue to add my presence to whatever Rango, Rango is one of the songs the protesters Thank have been singing. Right. I don't know if you still have the energy yes. to give us something. Yes. <laughs> Tell me where we gonna Rango after making our motherland a better place to live. Simple life is all we want to live. Okay. So I just had some.